Hey, welcome to the latest web novel chapter. This will contain spoilers, so let's just get right into the video. This takes place directly after chapter 89 of the web novel. The chapter starts with Subaru pondering why he couldn't keep his promise to save Shola. As this red scorpion climbs around his shoulders, Subaru believes that one day they will meet again. And he does realize that due to the completion of the trials, Shola, who was bound by the trials, is also at the mercy of it. Therefore, that's the reason why she disappeared. Subaru actually did get attacked by Shola, however, due to the presence of Meili, Meili was able to calm Shola down and then she picked up Shola and put her on her head, so now we have a small scorpion riding Meili's head. All of a sudden, the front door of the Pleiades Watchtower opened and Amelia appeared. They told Amelia what happened and they decided to all sort of have a group conversation. It turns out that everyone could remember who Amelia was. This obviously makes sense because in chapter 86, Ram did kill Lai Batinkatos. Subaru immediately thinks to all the people in Pre-Stella who lost their names and memories, believing that they would finally be restored back to normal. However, people cannot remember who Julius is, so that throws a spanner into the works. Why do people remember Amelia, but they do not remember Julius? Julius actually answers this question by stating that Roy Alphard is still alive, and as a result, he doesn't have his name back. As they go back into the tower, they bump into Anastasia. Now keep in mind, this is actually Anastasia and no longer Echidna, so she's back to normal now. They go to see where Roy Alphard is, and it turns out he's in the dragon carriage. But before Subaru goes in to meet Roy Alphard, he thanks Gian, or Joseph, depending on what version you actually read. Roy Alphard is sealed in the crystalline version of Shamark, and it's also the same seal which seals the Witch of Envy, Sitella. Subaru doesn't know why Roy is alive. After all, he should be killed. Julius disagrees, stating we don't know if killing them will return his name. This is actually correct, because when they check whether or not Rem is up, she's still sleeping and no one can remember her. So even though Lai was killed, Rem is still not back. However, Amelia is, which is really weird. Subaru wonders if he can use the Book of the Dead of Lai Batinkatos to find a solution, but Anastasia stops him, stating it's too dangerous. It seems that Echidna has already told her about the Book of the Dead. Subaru again reaffirms that Roy should be killed. However, Anastasia states that he should be tried and captured, just like Sirius has been. Emilia realizes how worn out Subaru is and tells Subaru to rest. With that, Subaru falls unconscious due to the burdens placed on him. With that, Emilia places Subaru in the green room and tells everyone they need to go to the top of the tower to see something. As the characters get to the top of the tower, they're all confused about the appearance of Volcanica. Even people like Anastasia and Julius and Beatrice are unnerved by his appearance. Julius does his usual stuff where he kneels on the floor stating that he's grateful to serve for Volcanica, and he starts crying. Because after all, in his mind, he's not only met Reed Astria, he's now met the great divine dragon Volcanica, and he can't help but weep with honour. However, there is one problem. Volcanica keeps repeating the same lines, and the characters realise that something's wrong with him. It's almost as if he doesn't have a soul. Despite that though, Volcanica's body is actually real and therefore they should be able to get the blood of the Divine Dragon, and if they got that, they would be able to solve the situation in Pre-Stella, restoring the names and memories of people, whilst also being able to free the people that were turned into flies by Capella, the Sin Archbishop of Lust. Emilia, as the administrator of the tower after clearing the trials, wonders how they should investigate the tower, and they realise that they should invite people to come in and investigate the different libraries for information and that they'll split the reward and fame between the Anastasia camp and Amelia camp. As Amelia ponders this, she notices something far off in the distance, something is coming towards them. And then the scene changes. The scene swaps to Subaru who keeps blaming himself for Shola's disappearance. Subaru was actually awoken by Petrash who was licking him and Subaru again thanks Petrage for always saving him. Looking at Ram who is also present in the green room, Subaru apologises for getting her hurt. However, Ram as usual dismisses him, stating that it isn't his fault that she got hurt, and that was due to her own choices. 
Subaru once again confirmed that Rem isn't awake and asks where everyone went. Ram states they went to the top of the tower to meet someone and Subaru wonders whether or not this is Flugel and he gets angry. However, Ram calms him down stating that if Flugel was at the top of the tower, Ram would have beat him half to death already alongside Amelia. Rem talks about a theory about digestion time, this idea that Lybat and Chaos ate Amelia, but because he was killed so fast, he didn't have time to digest the name of Amelia, and therefore Amelia's name was returned. However, in the case of Julius and Rem, because time has passed, their names and memories won't come back. However, this is a theory. Once again, Subaru thought about Louis Arneb, who's trapped in a hall of memories. He realized that maybe she could be the solution he desires. However, he lost the way to get back to the Hall of Memories. Before he used Reed Astria's book, but Reed Astria has been defeated, and so therefore you can't get back into the Hall of Memories. Subaru realized he could also use his Books of the Dead to get into the Hall of Memories. However, he realized whether or not it would work, and whether or not he could actually kill Louis Arneb inside the Hall of Memories. Can you actually die when you're inside there? However, Ram cuts him off and tells him to actually stop overthinking things. Another solution was to use Julius's divine protection to speak to the spirit in the green room. Since that spirit was around for a very long time, it might be able to tell the group some information that Shola couldn't tell them. However, all of a sudden, when they were thinking about this, a bright light enveloped the room and all of a sudden, Louis Arneb appeared on the floor and Louis Arneb was actually sleeping on the floor now. Now, this was really weird. After all, Louis Arneb didn't have a body and her whole point was that she wanted a body, she wanted a life. So why was she here in the green room? Subaru also noticed that the green room spirit has disappeared and it was no longer healing anyone. I didn't mention this before, but Melee was also in the green room and she was told to go get Amelia and the others, so she ran to the first floor. All of a sudden, something hit the tower and Subaru and his group tried to evacuate. Subaru, Ram, Rem and Petrash tried to make a runner for it, but then Subaru went back for Lewis and grabbed her as well. Subaru, carrying Rem and Lewis, tried to get out of the green room to join Petrash and Ram. However, he couldn't. There was a black shadow in front of him, stopping him from proceeding. The black shadow cut him off and enveloped him, stating I love you, and Subaru stated in his next life he will save everyone. However, Subaru was covered in a bright blue light and it turns out Volcanica shows up and he blasts the shadows away and Subaru is knocked unconscious. Subaru wakes up in a grassy field, he didn't actually die, he was saved, and he can feel that someone's licking him on the cheek, so it must be Petrash. As Subaru's eyes adjust, he looks at who's licking him, and it turns out it's actually Louis Arneb, the Sin Archbishop of Gluttony that's licking him on the cheek, and Subaru pushes her off and goes to look for Rem. As Subaru runs through the grassy field, he finally does find Rem, and as he holds Rem, she's still sleeping. He stands up, and then all of a sudden, he loses all emotions, all strength, and he starts crying, and he looks down, and he sees that Rem is now awake. And the first words she says is, who are you? Subaru, shocked by this development, did consider it at one point that Rem might have amnesia when she woke up. He choked back his tears and he responded, I am your hero. And the chapter ends. Well guys, that was an insane chapter. Rem is awake. Satella attacked the tower and Volcanica blasted her away. We don't know where Subaru is. He's in a grassy field. He seems to be alive. Rem is awake, as I said before. Louis Arneb has a body now. I'm not sure if she's like the green room spirit or something. I have no clue what's going on. We don't know where Amelia is. So, yeah, let's see what happens.